When you start the Pro Contractor Studio software, the PCS startup screen appears and you can see template files inside the new drawing menu on the left hand side. You can create your own template files by starting a new drawing, setting it up however you'd like, and then saving it as a template, or by choosing and customizing some of the existing templates. For this video, I'm going to click on the 8.5 by 11 at a 1 to 20 scale in portrait mode. As you can see, this drawing already has layers pre-built. I can add layers that I'll use on a regular basis. To do this, click on the Add Layer button at the bottom of the screen and pick a name for your new layer. I'm going to call this one Metal Edging. You can then assign it a color, line style, and scale to best suit your needs. Whatever layers you think you'll use most often, you should add. You can also add items that you'll use regularly, so that you don't have to repeat commands. For example, if you wanted to insert a title block, you could insert any title block you want. You can place other things on this drawing as well. I'll go ahead and place a north arrow, or you can place a scale, like so. Another thing you could add that you may use often is your license or seal if you need to. Whatever else you need to place on the drawing, be it layers or items that you'll be using on a regular basis, should be done. Once you've got your drawing set up the way you want it to look for the future, you can save it as your own template by going to File, Save As, and make sure that you save it in the Pro Contractor Studio folder in the Templates subfolder. You can give it any name you'd like, so long as you can later understand what the template is. In this case, the template is an 8.5 by 11 at a 1 to 20 scale in portrait mode, and it's completely tailored for me, so I'll name it Complete. Click on the Save button and the template is ready to go. Now close the drawing, and every time from now on that you open Pro Contractor Studio, in the new drawing section you'll see your new template. You can click on it and your custom template will open. From here you can edit the drawing as normal.